hello hello friends yeah welcome back uh, in this video what we will be covering is uh, we will check like the setup file so setup file we have created and we will uh, just keep all the variables and if there is any cleanup needs to be done i have created a function for cleanup if there is any missing directory we will create that directory and i have created is this function list file this list file will list all the files for a particular directory so it will take and list on all the json files and store it in file list so i'm using this file list function to store all the files 950 file list uh, files which 950 json files which we have in this file list and copy this file individually one by one when you execute this copy file so for the first time it will copy one then the second uh, so as many as many times we execute this uh, this copy function will help us to copy files so this is in setup script and let's see uh, now uh, the next execute this so let's execute uh, one file and see uh, how we can do a structured processing and for this we will be using streaming okay so let me run this setup first and uh, setups once the setup execute it will not copy any file to the directory so our source directory will be still empty let me check the source directory so let me go back to ipl folder so here in this container uh, ipl raw we have two folders so data source complete and source complete has all the complete data sets and source has one file okay that's good to start with okay okay so let me run this so here what we are doing is we are doing read stream from cloud files format is json multi-line uh, so inferring columns so we have also given a schema location in uh, just if a schema is getting changed uh, and we are using the source location where we have just one file we are extracting the file name uh, which we want okay let me run this okay so see inferring the schema for one file it was showing inferring schema so it has inferred the schema now let me run this cell okay it will show the data for one file so stream is getting initialized and we will see data for one file okay so as we can see uh, we will see data uh, for one file then we will push another file to see like it's that schema is getting inferred correctly or not yeah so showing one row so let me run all this functions. So uh, the file list is getting generated. Yeah. Uh, so let me execute it one more time. Uh, so I'll be already have this one zero eight two five nine one file present in our storage. So okay one more file is copied uh, now let's see what happened so see if you see uh, the streaming job got failed and because of this uh, there are some because of the schema mismatch schema was not matching uh, to what was there earlier uh, if this would have been and like an uh, incremental run if we would have run this again so it would have executed properly uh, but this time it didn't execute because this wasn't streaming uh, use cases uh, and uh, there were changes in the second file uh, which were not earlier present in the first file so as i told you in my first video like we need to handle the schema changes uh, in order to execute this because uh, this will work uh, because but it won't work in the streaming use case but in case of incremental if you're running this daily it will take the schema for both these two files now and execute it but if we push the third file again uh, it will fail so let's see what happens if we execute the third file because third file will have a different schema 
so see this job got aborted so in order to do this what we need to do is we need to assign schema and how we can assign schema we cannot write the schema manually because it's a long json file so to automatically generate the schema what we can do is so i have written a different notebook called schema generator okay let me do a setup so that all the files would be present so here i am using a uh, multi-line and inferring schema from source uh, complete location so here taking all the files which are there in the source location okay and then creating a schema on top of it by uh, reading all the files so what was happening earlier was we were just giving one a single file and trying to run it uh, so it was taking a schema for databricks was trying to take schema for a single file and then we when we used to run the second file uh, it was not able to match with that schema present and the job was failing and uh, spark did uh, also suggest that when you are doing the structured screening from file based source uh, so it requires you to specify the schema rather than relying on spark to infer it automatically so spark also suggests to uh, give the schema rather than relying uh, on spark so we would also follow that approach as part of the best practices so by that time schema gets generated uh, and then uh, okay schema is uh, generated and that schema uh, schema will look something like this and this schema we will be storing in the ipl matches.txt file so we have just written okay let let's see how it looks like okay in the data section we have a schema and schema we have a ipl matches okay so we uh so we got the first hand of the schema now probably we can edit this as per our requirement okay let me see how we can do it okay uh, so if you remember we talk about like uh here uh, and this uh, we have a different teams and we have a different player so like for kings 11 punjab would be present in one file uh, and, and another file there would be uh, mumbai indians so these two schema will never match so we need to give all the team names uh, so that the schema will match so how to do that this uh, let to be formatted as we have used all the files uh, so it would have inferred schema correctly and we would have got all the team names present in the structure so this would be uh, like a more complete schema which will mo match most of the files like Chennai, Deccan, Delhi so if any of the team comes from this uh, it will definitely match if not it will give null as we are defining the structure schema structure so if any other team is coming we need to add to this list otherwise we would get null uh, as part of uh, the data uh, similarly uh, this was people i don't think we really need people because if any new player is getting added and we are not doing anything uh, with this so we can modify it and remove the schema so to remove the schema we just need to delete this so i'm deleting a lot of data like from 389 to 5000 so need to carefully delete it uh, so once deleted comma was there okay yeah need to keep that comma okay so i have deleted uh, let me make it like compress it and make it like in original format how it was let me delete this and save this updated one so now we have schema here okay so whenever you are defining your own schema you need to change some things in the read stream so what we need to do is we need to execute this cell now so what we are doing we are reading the schema which is present in ipl matches and we are just uh, doing it converting it to struct type okay so the now new schema will look like this so it will be in struct field so that we could use arrays on top of the data so new schema look like this and in order to give 
need schema we need to comment the schema location and ask databricks to spark to take just new schema and read data for us so if you see oh now okay so now the second file which we have put it so we can see the streaming application running let's see how many record it gives and then we will uh, copy more files and check like if this is working after we have applied schema on top of data frame so it is giving two rows now okay like 1082591 and it should be 1082592 most probably yeah i guess it was the case yeah it was 1082592 okay now let me copy one more time one more file so let me execute uh, that copy function from setup which will copy additional files so let me execute two three nine four and nine five each we have copied so okay so let's see so see we have already got four rows so earlier we were having only two rows let me execute few more see five rows so now after assigning the schema uh, it's working properly and we are getting data so i think this video will be too long uh, let's stop and then see how we can use now this data in order to do our analysis thank you